happy Earth Day, Daily Actors! To celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, as you can see, my daughter helped dress me up for the occasion with a nice little cleavers and kale fairy crown, some calendula, and some fresh jasmine from the garden. Um, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, we got a couple action tips for you. Want to share about a workshop we're doing with Sunrise on Friday and to share a little bit more about our upcoming Be The Change campaign, which is launching next week. You know, because we're just feels like we're in constant crisis each year, it's extra important for us to reclaim the only power we have, and that is the power of our daily actions and the power of community and small actions. And so this is gonna be a year-long Be The Change campaign that's gonna have different phases and focuses, but there are four main goal areas, as I alluded to last week. The first one is practicing self-care. This is tending your inner garden through personal ecology practices. And it's really about using the difficulty of this time to center our own compass, our purpose, our values, and our strengths, and to really look at who do we wanna be in this time? What is our unique voice and vision, and what is the contribution you seek to make? Once you clarify and hone your compass, it's about up-leveling our habits and practices from meditation and yoga and journaling to getting good rest and eating well. Maybe you do a little Tao Chi Gung when you're drying off in the morning after your water-wise shower. And of course, it's centering in our hearts. The second category is about planting gardens. And as you all know, gardening is not just gardening. It's a pathway to a richer, more connected world one with nutritious food, useful products, and a homegrown ecosystem that is powered by the sun. It protects the environment, provides habitat, cleans the air, cleans and stores rainwater, and builds soil while sequestering carbon emissions. This is a garden that can reduce waste, pollution, and expense while strengthening our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. In Radical Homemaker, Shannon Hayes writes about how when people center on their homes and families in a way that honors nature and our communities, they do more than just begin dismantling the extractive economy. They actually start creating the regenerative living economy that we want and need. So how do you like them homegrown pickles? You ready to start growing some food, fuel, fodder, fun, fecundity, feline, felicity, and some pharmaceuticals uh, on your windowsill, on your porch, and in your garden? The third category is around conserving resources and reducing emissions. Um, in the climate crisis, we know we need to reduce a lot of emissions and entering another drought year, as well as a report that just came out showing we're actually potentially a couple decades into a mega drought. Uh, we have a lot to do to conserve water and other resources. And thankfully, we've been doing some great work with our city partners and the county and the water agency and beyond on conserving water and resources. The last category is around getting civically engaged to nurture and strengthen our communities. And so there's going to be a range of actions in this category, whether it's focusing on engaging in local climate policy or ensuring that in this pandemic we have a just recovery that supports people and our workers. It could be growing a row for the hungry and really looking at how we address food security, supporting a neighbor, supporting our local businesses, and if you're inspired to do so, maybe with that stimulus check, you could donate to a local organization like Daily Acts or many of our other partners that I know are struggling with increased economic uncertainty and financial loss. This as we are called on even more and asked to step up in these crises, as Daily Acts and our partners are happily doing. Um, so that's a great way to celebrate Earth Day as well. And so at the start and end of Earth Day and every day, it's about being the change we wish to see every single day. And so this is why we're launching this campaign next week to help you tap into that Gandhi Zen Greta Willy Wonka that we all got inside. To love our people and live our praise through the choices we make each and every day. So we can one act, one plant, one relationship, and one fairy bouquet with edibles and medicinals um, create the world we wish to see. I also got a shirt on from one of our partners that says, uh, grow food, catch rain, make compost, use solar, and be merry. The chickens cooperated very nicely. Our chickens are right behind me, and I'll take you over real quick. It's our little hygge culture bed with kale, pomegranate, and grapes. There's the ladies. You can see they're enjoying the leftover rainwater they have in their catchment system. And, uh, I'm bringing this to you from a recycled snowboard bench in the garden.
So lots of actions we could all take. Uh, thank you all. Take heart, take part, and take action. And we'll look forward to seeing you more soon.